Chica here, man. We're in the electric bike racing here in the sphere van. So, man, check out these monsters here, man. These guys came in nine hours road trip. Oh, hey, nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah! Boom squad records, man. This guy is a rock star, hey, man. Guys, no, what's no. Going on? Electronic music superstar, man. He was a uh, number two on Spotify. Number one. Like a number one? <laughs> Man, like, yeah, really, really famous, man. Proper superstar, hanging out with Taylor Swift and things like <laughs> he's, that. He's been doing his research. Yeah, <laughs> did some research, yeah. I'm being, oh, man, superstar, man. Oh, huh? Right, so we're going to explain some. Oh. He's very clever here as well, man. With the electric bikes. Ooh, yeah, electric vehicle festival. Yeah, Hunter, Hunter Valley, Valley EV Fest. Oh, yeah. So, man, we're going to explain some very clever things he's been doing here. Pump motor generates a lot of heat. Especially when you're pumping, how many amps you're pumping there? Uh, this one between 15 and 20 kilowatts. 20 kilowatts, how many amps you uh, are at the two, motor? 200 amps, at, uh, at the motor 400 amps, but 200 amps <laughs> from the battery at 100 and something volts. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So, right, so explain what is actually, exactly what you're doing with the ferro fluid, uh, uh, making a path and all here. Well, I mean, uh, every motor's got a, uh, a stator inside it. Um, this is where the heat comes from, and we've got to get the heat out of here. Um, without the ferrofluid and without the, the heat sinks, the only path for the heat is down here and out the axle, which is uh, stainless steel, so it's a horrible thermal pass. Um, the ferrofluid goes on the outside of this and connects the stator, um, which is in here, connects the stator to the hub uh, thermally, so uh, the heat's got a better path outside, but then we were having the trouble of the, the hub shell getting way too hot and not being able to shed the heat, so we've got a, um, these are the prototypes, we've got the real ones coming soon. Uh, we've got the Arctic Silver Thermal Paste there to um, create a heat path between the stator inside, then to the magnet ring, and then out to the air. Uh, and what's the improvement you're getting there? Because uh, it's ridiculous improvement, well, eh? We're, we're doing the proper testing uh, officially next week. Uh, I think Luke, uh, Live for Physics, is, is going to get involved Very in the testing. Very famous guy, yeah. The most famous guy in e-bikes. Um, <laughs> But uh, in thermodynamic testing, like fluid testing on the computer, we're getting about a 200 to 250% increase in, in power handling. <laughs> oh, um, God. Not to say you can run more power, but you can run the same amount of power for much longer. Without because, frying like this. <laughs> because you're, you're shedding heat. These by themselves will shed about 2,000 watts of, of pure heat energy over oh. over the standard hub. Because and we've, without them, we've just got a smooth surface. There's no way for the heat to get out. Uh, the heat sinks are adding about three square foot of surface area. Uh, aluminium surface area just, just soaks the heat out. Um, <laughs> when Hyena finished yesterday and his, his motor was steaming in the... Uh, this guy here, this guy. When, when this motor finished the race yesterday, at uh, well over 200 degrees if this solder's melting. Uh, we were running at 98 degrees and only 45 degrees on the side cover. So, um. <laughs> Completely melted this. I made a video. He was pouring water trying to cool this thing down. Cooling his hot motor with a bit of you know, water. Ah, man. It was too late, it was already fried. There's some black wires here, like it's gone, gone. There's so you're trying this, uh, even like on your brakes. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, I come up with this bike. Matt's got his brakes done. Oh, Matt is doing exactly the same thing. It's getting exactly the same performance. See, even the brake pads, they, they, they're going everywhere with the heat sinks, right? Uh, Matt's actually done his motor. Uh, this is the prototype version two. He's got full coverage. Yeah, right. Uh, and this one's actually slightly more efficient because it's got uh, more. another 20% of heat sink. <laughs> heat sink And his everywhere. brakes are done as well, everywhere. Even his brakes, eh? Oh, right, so it's got like, a, he, they just packed away a lot of batteries. They're connecting charges in series here, or parallel, or whatever they're doing there. So yeah, bit of a geek setup, pretty cool. Chargers pumping all the way from the generator there. Oh yeah, man, we're having so much fun, man. Hey, hey, hey you're hey. cool, buddy. Hey, hey Bob yeah, Squad. Hey, Bob Squad. Yeah. This is a motorcycle dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, so, so hopefully we do all right. If we don't crash, we'll do okay. Yeah, so, man. Some big bikes that were out on the big track. Big bikes, man. So, but they're production bikes, man. You, you making them, man. Yeah, you. We, well, we were, we were riding these off-road uh, only a week ago, so. Uh, we've redone them, we've retuned the suspension. It's we've strange to go with the slick tire. Hey? Yes, yeah, road tires, slick tires. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Let's say hi to Taylor Swift. We'll do. <laughs> Tell her about the e-bike race. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Say hi to England this year, guys. Woo! Yeah, man. Oh, 